This is a CBS News special report. I'm Scott Pelley in New York. Conrad Murray, the doctor convicted of causing Michael Jackson's death, is being sentenced in Los Angeles. Let's listen to Superior Court Judge Michael Pastor. Hybrid type sentences as authorized by the Realignment Act of uh, 2011 and uh, straight sentencing. This court does not have the legal authority to actually send and imprison Dr. Murray in state prison. I do not have that legal authority, and I certainly am going to follow the law in that regard. The legislature of this state signed a realignment act that declares certain offenses, while felonies, not to be served in state prison, and involuntary manslaughter is one of those. I do not have that legal authority. I must determine the appropriate sentence, and in making that determination, the court is guided by a triad of possible sentences that the court can impose, two, three, or four years. The court no longer has to weigh what are called aggravating circumstances or factors versus mitigating circumstances or factors, but has to give a statement of reasons. The court has determined that the appropriate term is the high term of four years imprisonment. I do so because, once again, I find that Dr. Murray abandoned his patient who was trusting him. His patient was vulnerable under those circumstances, having been administered potentially dangerous drugs by his medical provider. Dr. Murray's course of conduct extended over a period of time. Dr. Murray repeatedly lied, engaged in deceitful misconduct, and endeavored to cover up his transgressions. Uh, he violated uh, the trust of the medical community, of his colleagues, uh, and of his uh, patient. Uh, and he has absolutely no sense of remorse, absolutely no sense of fault, and is and remains dangerous. It's easy to say, oh, well, Dr. Murray's a medical doctor. He's a smart, sophisticated man. He does not have a criminal history. Uh, he may not be licensed to practice medicine in the future, although that has nothing to do with me. I have no authority over that. The fact remains, Dr. Murray is offended by that patient dying. And I don't have any idea what will prompt Dr. Murray to do or not do something in the future that may be dangerous to a patient. Uh, if he does practice medicine in the United States or even elsewhere, I think Dr. Murray is so reckless based upon the law and the definition of criminal negligence that I read and everything that I heard and saw in this case and Dr. Murray's subsequent conducts, conduct that I believe he's a danger to the community. Uh, I've taken Judge account. Michael Pastor in Los Angeles sentencing Conrad Murray for involuntary manslaughter. The sentence the judge has imposed is the maximum four-year term available under the law. Before we came on to the air to listen to the sentence being imposed, we heard a remarkable speech by Judge Pastor from the bench. He said that Conrad Murray had practiced medical madness for money, fame, and prestige. He said that his conduct with Michael Jackson showed a, quote, long-standing failure of character and a horrific violation of trust. Ben Tracy has been covering this case at the courthouse for us, and he is outside the courthouse now. Ben? 
Scott, the judge's remarks really were astounding. He called Dr. Murray deceitful, a liar. He said his actions were a disgrace to the medical profession. So perhaps it's not surprising that he ended up giving him the maximum sentence of four years. But our viewers should know that Dr. Murray is very unlikely to serve anything close to four years. We have a massive overcrowding problem here in our prisons in California. He will likely have that sentence changed to two years in the county jail. However, we also have an overcrowding problem in the county jail. So a lot of folks think that he will end up serving two years of home confinement, which obviously is a very different sentence than four years in state prison. Scott. Ben, thank you very much. The state is also asking that Dr. Murray pay restitution in the amount of $100 million. That for the lost revenue they estimated that Michael Jackson might have earned, plus another $1.8 million, which the state describes as Michael Jackson's funeral costs. Once again, yes, Michael Jackson's doctor, Conrad Murray, has been sentenced to the maximum four years in jail for causing the singer's death. There will be much more on your local station at cbsnews.com and, of course, right here on the CBS Evening News. Until then, I'm Scott Pelley, CBS News in New York. For news 24 hours a day, go to cbsnews.com.